one of my big concerns. It's trying to capture an image that kind of lives on the border of representation and abstraction. So in that zone, it's a kind of zero zone. And that zone, for me, things happen in image. There are different kind of techniques used uh, in this um, exhibition. You have the paintings. There is, first, there is a photograph, which is chosen, then painted. It's a kind of abstract photograph. And this is translated into paint by a very rational system of grids. So the photo is divided in 50 colors. Those colors are mixed at forehand. Then you have 50 cans, let's say, that compose your picture. Then it's applied and mixed into each other. Every paint I do has to be done in one track. It has to stay wet. So I have 12 hours, 16 hours at the maximum. So this is one technique. When this is done, there's another one coming in. Actually, the opposite of the first one. The first one is almost no mistake can happen. It's very controlled. The other one is the, is the opposite. It's taking away the wet paint in one track. It takes five to eight seconds. And it's an accident. You don't know what's going to happen. You just take away paint. It can succeed. It can be a failure. And so it's a moment of complete tension of dynamics, which are very existential, because you destroy what you have been making the whole day somehow. Uh, for a long time, I have been very much um, intrigued by geology and recently more about marble stone. And somehow I was trying to give an answer to that attraction. Till I, I realized that marble had a lot to do with my paintings. The idea of time, space in an image is literally crystallized time in matter, in mineral. Basically, you're in front of a huge, enormous space of time. But at the same time, you can touch it. It's concrete. It's in your hands. It waits. You can read it somehow. You can read the accidents. At the same time, you just can't grasp it. It's just too far, too much. It's too old. It's much bigger than you. And so all this came to me in a very strong way. And I wanted to respond, and my answer was reactivating this uh, mystery by adding a new layer from today by a human gesture. So it's a new layer, it's a new moment added to the million moments who are in there. And so this is actually the way you, you reactivate the stone. Basically the exhibition speaks about more and more a necessity coming in to take back that ephemeral image to a reality that we can conceive as here and now, which is a reality with a trace, which is a reality with a physicality, a concrete aspect, which is stone in, that, in, in my case. Yeah, to make a kind of balance between the two, maybe get rid of the element of escape in the pure image, something that has a focus again.